it is Friday, January the 1st of the year of the Lord 2021. So first of all, Happy New Year. And today the church celebrates the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Today is a holiday of obligation. Today also it's a, 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 the World Day of Prayer for Peace. Let us pray for the peace in the world. And also it's a new, a new year. So go to Mass. If you begin, as they say, the, the year with the right foot, everything will be okay. We ended up already 2020. We give thanks to the Lord for that year. Now we are in this new year. Hopefully everything will be better than last year. We are right. We are alive and kicking, as they say. And today the gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 2, verse 16 to 21. The shepherds went in, in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflected on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel, before he, before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the Church proposes to us to celebrate, as the beginning of the year, the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. The Holy Mother of God. That is the title of Mary, Mother of God. And that, is, that title took years to define. In fact, in the Council of Ephesus, in the year 431, is when the church decided, moved by the Holy Spirit, that Mary was the Theotokos, means she is the one carrying God, the Son of the Living God. Mary it was not only the mother of the human Jesus, but the divine Jesus, and and the church had to really to know to meditate on, on the rule of Mary in the history of salvation. Mary is a woman who said yes to the Lord. Mary was the woman who was predestined to be the mother of God. Mary was the woman who was preserved of original sin. She was immaculate in her conception. Mary, and the church celebrates her as the mother of God. It means in Jesus Christ, the humanity and the divinity get together at the end. They are one in under the person of the word of God, under the person of the Logos, which is the word of God. And Mary is proposed at the beginning of this year as a way to, to live the, the whole year. How to live the whole year as a, as a disciple of the Lord, as a somebody who is always reflecting everything on her, on her heart. So as the attitude of the, of the Christian, it must be the attitude of Mary, willing to receive the word of God, willing to obey, willing to keep everything in her heart, even though she did not understand at the end. So, and let us ask the Lord that during this year, 2021, we may be like Mary, the mother of Jesus, to, to keep Jesus in our hearts so that we can give Jesus to the world at the end. Mary, the woman of faith, and all her titles at the end, her immaculate conception, her assumption, her virginity, is because she was chosen to be the mother of God. That is the most important title of Mary, the, the mother of God. And today uh, uh, is the world day of prayer for peace. Let us pray for peace in our hearts, peace in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our cities, in America, peace in the world. Today, really, we need to have peace, to be people of peace. And we can be people of peace only if, if, we trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord, you shall not tire. So let us, today we have Masses, 9 o'clock in English, then in Spanish, 11 a.m. in 1 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Again, from the Fathers, from the Peace of St. Leo the Great, we wish you a great year 
live in the presence of the Lord. May God bless you today and always.